All right, so you know, guys, I get a lot of hate comments, and as a YouTuber, I'm completely used to it. I consider myself a cold person. I'm unfazed by a lot of things. It takes a lot to offend me or get me upset. And, you know, I receive a lot of the same hate comments. You know, one in particular stood out to me recently, so I decided to respond to it. He basically said that I could only play against uh, bad players. And I get this hate comment a lot. And my response was, oh, yeah, that's why I've been like top pro players, right? Or pro players, some of them being top tier. And then he says, you know what, link me a video of you playing a top tier pro. So I say Search Oblicity versus Selium or Dashi because they're both top tier pro players. Selium, he's, he's a young man, I think he's like 22 or 23. He already has like half a million dollars in earnings. And he's still, um, he already has half a million dollars in earnings, multiple event wins. And he's a world champion as well, guys. So the guy, he's accomplished a lot in a short amount of time. Crazy average placing. And every year he's competed, he's basically been a top player, top 10 player, top five player. So anyways, I link him that video. And within that match, we beat uh, Selium and this guy named Pacer, who's an amateur. He was a top M at one point. He's still a really good player. Uh, it's not like he was a bot or anything. So yeah, that was a 2v2 hardpoint wager on Black Ops during the map Fringe. And you know, Selium's known for his like AR ability. UAV perimeter established. Down. You know, that's what he was going with on Fringe. And you know, he was beaming, he was hitting some nice shots. We still ended up... We still ended up winning the game. I can't shoot while I'm talking. We still ended up uh, winning that map. I went like 43 and 43. He went 46 and 40. So his response was, you know, the teams were rigged, which they weren't at all. I was playing with a, a really good player, but he was, he wasn't a top pro. His name was Slayer. Slayer, oh, I've known him for a long time. Still talk to him on Twitter here and there, uh, but I haven't played with him in the longest time. So yo, Slayer, if you're watching this, uh, MW3, let's, uh, let's run it up, buddy. Let's run up some league plays, some wagers, stuff like that. So anyways, so yeah, we win that map. We actually did end up losing the series. Um, it was a close. The series was close, man. Every map was close. I'm telling you right now, 99.9% .9 of my haters would get absolutely mollywopped by the by that team. And they wouldn't even get 50 points against that team, man. Uh, most of my haters. It doesn't matter how much I uh, dislike somebody. If they deserve respect, you know, after beating somebody that good, I'll give them the respect, man. It doesn't matter how much I hate them or dislike them. You know, beating somebody like that deserves respect. 100%, guys. So he still can give me respect. He was giving me a bunch of excuses. He was like, yeah, that's why... Uh, I'm on a 20. I didn't even realize. He was like, yeah, that's why I him out fragged you. He got three more kills with me. And my response was like, yeah, I went neck and neck. I was like, so I went neck and neck with uh, a future go, which is true. It's like, how, how can you hate on that? I don't I don't even understand. Like, I'm going to use the snipper's nest. So, yeah, it, that's just crazy, man. He can't even give me props for beating somebody like that. If one of my top haters posted a game like that, I would show respect, man. 100%. Because I know how difficult it is to do. And, you know, when you guys beat somebody that good... Trust me, it will give you a will give you a big confidence boost, man. It will give you a big confidence boost. I'm on a 25. I might actually get the nuke. So I'm not explaining this story too well. That's something that I have to improve on. And you know, I, I admit that completely. And then he was uh he was talking about the dashy game too, man. So I, I mean if anything, they had the better team. Because Celium is like, he was the best in that lobby. Let's just be honest here. He was, the, he was the best player in that lobby. You know, even though we beat him, it doesn't matter. I did beat him in a... I did beat him in a 2v2 SMD wager on Black Ops 3. But he was playing with his girlfriend, so maybe that doesn't count. point is the majority of people wouldn't even get close to beating somebody like that i still get hate for it like i know i can play really good players and you know it's been like that for a long time you know it was a long time ago uh four years or so ago but i still i still know i could do it now you know if the teams were somewhat fair like if it's two top pros on the same team it's a different story it's gonna be much more difficult
And then what he said about Dashi was pretty amusing as well. He was like, yeah, the teams weren't fair. We beat him in league play. And, you know, he did, his team wasn't that great. But he still, like, absolutely destroyed everybody in the lobby. He dropped, like, over 7,000 damage. and was gunning everything. And he's known for his, like, crazy raw talent, his gun skill. He's been a top player for a while now. Uh, he's won... He's won a few events, but he, he's no world champ or anything like that yet. I think he has the talent to win a world championship. No doubt about it. But, yeah, he hasn't won that yet. But, but the point is, he's still a top player. And, you know, if you guys want to check out those videos, you can, man. I'll put a, a link in the description. Trust me, guys, if these haters really thought I was that bad at the game, they wouldn't hide on anti-accounts and use uh, Hades crossbars, micros, compsec device. You know, all those cheese weapons against me, they would do it on their main accounts. Um, you know, when I'm completely aware of who they are. And they also only do it when I'm playing with guppies or maybe I'm solo. So, it's just like I'm telling you, man, these haters, I'm telling you guys, when you get haters, you're doing something correctly, man. Like... I'm just trying to entertain you guys with the best content possible. I'm humble. I don't brag about anything. I'm just giving you guys some uh, some facts about the past. The results really just speak for themselves. I still have a lot of improving to do. I, I wouldn't say I'm at the prime age as a COD player right now, but I still think uh, I got some juice left in the tank if you guys get what I'm saying. I'm going to try using the Mad Dizzle Ray here on Summit. I'm hoping that we can drop 60. Actually, no, in this party, it's going to be really hard to drop 60, even though I'm with one person. Just because of the score limit and TDM. And look at that. I got double teamed off the rip. And do 200 damage. Both end up dying right away. That's fine though. We'll make a comeback here. We'll make a comeback here. Wow. Really great player. Amazing player. Wow, we aren't doing nothing right now. Cookie Monster is piecing us. How long? Like, dude, I swear I stalled for 5,000 years. The randoms are so slow. One of them's not even playing. Wow, I'm getting annoyed already. I literally stalled for 8,000 years, man. That's that's so annoying. You guys have no idea how annoying that is, man. Wow, I'm so weak. Somehow I couldn't get away right there. Somehow I couldn't get away. Just use the streaks. Oh my guppy, is he doing? Okay. Nothing to really say about that. Guys, they're in a spawn trap. Basically, that's what they're in. He's down low, like... Can't find this guy. Yeah, the streaks are just doing it all. I shouldn't have used them. It's my bad. Bad right there. Take both of them out. 39 and 4. We're having a solid game so far. If I can even drop 50 in this party, that would be great. 
Looking like I got a sniper's nest in, so that's not good news. Deploying smoke charge. Not good news at all. That's alright. Four and four. Let's keep this up. Might spawn back over here. Okay, never mind. Oh yeah, they did. They did. Wow, I was actually right. Oh, I thought he wouldn't be able to get an angle on me. Call him my thresher now. Drop the fifty. Like we're doing all the work here. This is crazy. I'm literally doing all the work. Gotta reload. Alright, yeah, nothing I can really do. Game's done. That's it. That's it, guys. Yeah, 50 and 5. I think we got more actually than 50. I think we got like 51 just the last kill didn't count. 